Welcome again to Educator.com and now we are about to start one of the most important parts of this lesson. This is brainstorming and then we're getting a topic and we're getting a thesis. This is so important that we're actually going to spend two lessons on this. The reason why we're going to spend two lessons is if you get a really great thesis, and I'll, sh I'll tell you what that is, you'll be having a very easy paper to write. So, let's go over first the basic structure of a five paragraph essay. We have what's called an introduction paragraph. Then we have three body paragraphs, one, two, three, and then a closing paragraph at the very end. Now, what goes in this introduction paragraph? Well, first off, in that introduction paragraph, you have to motivate the reader to read, and then you have to introduce what's called a topic, and then that topic, that introduction must have a thesis somewhere. The body paragraphs contain the major points and the minor details that will relate to the topic and the thesis. In future lessons, we're going to go over kind of what those things are. Finally, we have a closing paragraph where you summarize, just like you did before, the major points, and then at some point you restate or paraphrase the thesis. Now, what I said before was that if you have a very big topic and a clear thesis, those body paragraphs will come naturally. Everything I just showed you probably feels a little daunting right now, and you probably feel like that's a lot to do. However, if you do a lot of work first, and you really, really get a thesis down, then this thesis will make all these other things kind of just come naturally, and it'll feel very, very easy. And you'll find that the writing is very simple. So, now that I've talked about topic and thesis, what do I mean by those terms? Well, topic is just very, very simple. It just means what the essay is about. So the topic can be actually anything under the sun, I mean, or above the sun, or in space. It can be anything at all. You can have the topic be marine mammals, you can have the topic be dinosaurs, you can have the topic be, you know, books, you can have the topic be anything. The topic is generally very, very, very broad, and we narrow it down, and then we eventually get to what's called a thesis. The thesis is a central statement in one sentence that the entire paper is about. That's all it is. You are getting down the thesis to just, you're going to say in one sentence what the rest of the paper is going to be about. And once you do that, you know what shouldn't be in your paper, and that makes things easier.